back, I'm Christine, and today's video is going to be Fitness Challenge Week 1. If you guys are new here, my channel is Twilight Chick 143 We talk about anything ranging from beauty, fashion, to life, vlog style, so make sure you guys consider subscribing. Today's video is going to be my fitness challenge week one, which I just completed. really wanted to share this whole fitness journey with you guys because I'm pretty sure many of you guys are on the same boat. So in this video, I'm going to talk about my fitness goals, what I did for the fitness challenge week one, why I did those things, and also um, my results of week one. Just a little background story I was doing the intermittent fasting which is basically window of eating so you're only allowed to eat within a certain period of time you don't snack in between and that for me it was working for a quite some time however during the holidays I really started to slip behind ate a bunch of stuff that I wasn't supposed to and the pounds really started to pack on I actually gained back the weight that I had lost um, and I was at a weight that I was not happy with and I felt just really unhealthy I did like the way how my clothes were fitting on me and in general I just didn't like the way how I felt at that weight my metabolism has always been very slow and just with every year that goes by my metabolism seems to get a lot slower uh, getting more difficult to really try to maintain that weight especially if you aren't very active if you're not getting out there and really exercising so for my fitness challenge week number one I really wanted to focus on food meaning the food quantity the portion control what type of food I was eating and just making better food choices in general. This week I decided not to work out, just really focus on my eating habits. So with that being said, I'm going to share with you guys now the food that I ate this week. Good morning, happy Monday. So for breakfast I have a banana, I have um, half of an English muffin with almond butter on top and then for my lunch today I'm having, um, it's a egg white scramble with some spinach, grape tomatoes, and we have some broccoli, carrots, and lemon for garnish. I completely forgot to share with you guys what I had for dinner. It was basically salad with a light dressing, and then I added some chicken bits for protein. So for the next day, breakfast is black coffee, no creamer or sugar. I had a half of an English muffin with a tablespoon of almond butter and a whole banana. Lunch is basically just a salad with a light dressing, added some egg for protein, and then I just garnished it with lots of pepper for flavoring. Here is tonight's dinner. We have uh, some salad, just Caesar, some croutons, and this is seared halibut fish. Just seasoned with uh, salt, pepper, and lemon pepper. For Wednesday's breakfast, again, I had half of an English muffin with a tablespoon of almond butter and a whole banana, and of course, my black coffee. Lunch, I'm having two pieces of the halibut from last night, and then I just purchased some vegetables from our cafeteria, jicama, some olives and cucumber, and some water for my drink. I wanted to share with you guys really quickly a snack that I'm having right when I got home. So it's uh, having a slice of the Tillam Tillamook pepper jack cheese. It has um, 110 calories per slice. Place the cheese on top of four Triscuits. So this technically would be five because I have an extra one right there. Completely forgot to share with you guys my dinner for tonight. Uh, it's a little bit burned, but it's two slices of DiGiorno pizza. No dressing. And then I'm just gonna have some black so coffee. for Thursday's and... breakfast, it's the exact same thing. You guys can see a pattern going on here. And then for lunch, I decided to purchase something from our cafeteria. I just got a chicken noodle soup and then I'm adding some sriracha sauce for a kick skipped out on the crackers. For dinner, I had half of a breaded tilapia fish from Costco, and then I had some uh, pancit homemade noodles that my mom made. Now, moving on to Friday's breakfast, I just had black coffee and a whole banana. For lunch, I brought in a whole piece of the breaded tilapia fish from Costco, added some sriracha sauce, and purchased some vegetables from our cafeteria. And then for dinner, I have some steamed zucchini and carrots as well as two small portions of fried pork chop. For Saturday, of course, I had to start my morning off with a cup of black coffee. For brunch, I ended up having a corned beef egg white McMuffin. And then for a bit of a kick, I added some sriracha sauce on the side. 
dinner tonight, I ended up having a small portion of Alfredo pasta, which was garnished with Parmesan cheese on top. And then after dinner, we ended up going to Dunkin' Donuts. So I got a small cup of cold brew coffee with a bit of creamer. And I also treated myself to one tiny chocolate munchkin. And now on to Sunday, again I began my day with a cup of black coffee. For breakfast, we had Alaskan sausage which was sautéed in onions. And then I had half of an English muffin with a tablespoon of almond butter and half of a banana. For dinner, we ended up going to Wingstop which was super fattening. So what I did was I took five pieces of chicken and I made sure to really load up on the veggie sticks which I added more while we were eating. And that's basically what I ate this week. So as you guys can see I did make better food choices there were times though where say like I had the soup I would just skip out on the crackers we went out to Dunkin Donuts I had my cold brew coffee some creamer one munchkin and that was it don't want food to be my enemy once you start really depriving yourself that's when you end up really wanting to eat the bad food I always made sure to have a water bottle with me so I always kept myself hydrated a lot of the times when you're hungry it's just you being dehydrated whether you have to make yourself like infused use waters that should also help kind of curb your hunger because you will feel full I love to squeeze lemon in my water and lemon is especially great for your um, intestinal system it really helps keep everything going so all in all for the first week I am super happy with my results I ended up losing so far five pounds which I was really amazed with so moving forward with week number two my fitness challenge is now to start working out I'm gonna be uh, going back to the 21 day fix workout program um, I'm still going to be eating the same exact way of course portioning out my food I really want to just slim down my body and also tone up I really wanted to share this video with you guys because sometimes seeing videos like this really helps motivate me and I hope in some shape or form this also helps motivate you guys with your whole fitness journey if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys would like me to continue sharing videos like this weekly please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you guys aren't subscribed already consider subscribing right down here follow me on all my social media just remember to keep going with your fitness journey sometimes you do have little bumps in the roads but you learn from that and you just keep moving forward so always move forward with your journey so anyway thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video